Today we're going to cover chemical equations and how to understand them. So the goals are what are the meanings of these little letters S, L, A, Q, and G. We're going to differentiate molecules, atoms, and moles. We're going to differentiate the products from the reactants and define the meaning of the symbols used in this chemical equation. So here we've got a lovely chemical equation, nice and simple, good start to work with. And basically in every single chemical equation we're going to have an arrow, like right here, and what this arrow represents is whatever's on the left hand side is going to become whatever's on the right hand side. So in this example we've got two things combining to create one thing, but it could be opposite. It could be one thing breaking apart to form multiple things, so don't let that fool you. And everything on the left hand side is called the reactant. They are reacting together and this arrow shows this is the chemical reaction that occurs. And on the right hand side, this is the product. There could be more than one product. There can be more than one reactant. There can be just one reactant. Okay, so the reactants form the products. It's always set up this way. The arrow is always right here. Everything on the left is a reactant or reactants. Everything on the right is a product or products. Okay, so let's cover what. So and looking at this, we see that we have H2 and this little letter G. So let's cover what that means really quickly. So these, uh, the H and the 2, that's the chemical. And the little G next to it, that tells us the state that the atoms are in. So we've got S is solid, S is solid, L is liquid, AQ means aqueous, so that could be like uh, salt dissolved in water, an aqueous solution. And G, of course, would mean gas. So here we've got hydrogen gas, oxygen gas forming liquid water. Okay, so the chemical equations really are basically just sentences that tell us what's going on in a chemical reaction. And the arrow tells us where this happens. The G tells us the state that these are in, because this could be a liquid, this could be a solid, this could be a gas, we don't know, but the little letters tell us that. And as we know from working with these molecules previously, that the little letter, or sorry, the little number rather, like for here, it's H2, this tells us the number of atoms of whatever is in front of it. So here we've got, if we were to draw this a different way, We've got two H's combining. Here we've got O2, and that looks like this, really. And that's going to form H2O, and H2O has two H's and one O. Very super simplified here. So in our molecular picture, this is what's happening, and we can interpret that from the chemical equation. So really what I want to emphasize is that this little number is the number of atoms of whatever's in front of it. So there we go, that's atoms. The whole thing together is a molecule, so this is a molecule of H2, everything we've drawn here. One moment. So this is one molecule. Oops. This is one molecule H2, this is one molecule O2, and this is one molecule H2O. Okay, but if we look at this, and considering the law of conservation of mass, this doesn't really work out. We start with two oxygens on this side, but we only have one on the next side. So something that we can do in order to fix that problem is to add in more molecules in order to make that correct. So in this particular case, We've got two oxygens on this side, but only one oxygen on the product side, so we know we need at least one more of this. All right, so now we've got two oxygens on this side and two of this. So in order to demonstrate that there's now two of these, we would write a big number two. This is the number of moles or the number of molecules right there. Okay, but now the next problem is that we've got four H's on this side. The O's are fine, but now we've got four H's. We don't have four H's on this side, so we need to add in another one of these molecules. So then, again, now that there's two molecules there, we'll add in a big two there. So our final equation is going to be two 
H2 plus, sorry, gas, plus one molecule of O2, so we don't have to write the one there, but this is also gas, yields two molecules of H2O liquid.